Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 4. Today I'm going to be doing the MR challenge with an MR car. I've been looking around for a multi-purpose one that just is useful across the board for other races and I decided on a Lotus Motorsport Elise. I don't think it's too fast but it's definitely not too slow. I did originally get an Toyota MRT but that was too slow. So I thought I would just shell out a bit more money since I got some and get a nice Lotus Elise. So we got a lot of NSXs and Esprits in this field. Hopefully my Elise will be able to keep up with them. My car's a lot lighter and is I think more not more acceleration. <laughs> Faster accelerating. So I did originally have the car behind us, that MR2, but it was too slow. It says as it overtakes me. Maybe I didn't need this car. But that car certainly wouldn't keep up with the NSXs. And again I'm being shoved onto the... How did... Ah! Problem with AI. So just brutal. They just follow a line and don't register whether you're there. So let's try that again. Hopefully we won't get shunted on the first lap. That would be good. So from what I've seen, the Lotus is pretty good. Definitely faster than the first two cars there. And has much better brakes than most cars here. Apart from the Elise probably. So we got five laps of this awful course. I don't understand the point of this track. It's just rubbish. It's boring. It's easy. There's nothing to it. It's just, I think it's just filler. So we're up to the Lutus Esprit. I was thinking of getting that as well. But it was this car was only 40 grand more. And I could enter this in lightweight cups and British Lotus in cups and stuff like that. So I thought I'll just get this one instead. And this in this really nice green colour. Oh, so lucky there. That could have ended badly for us. Sorry, although you're AI, I still have feelings. No, no idea why I changed the first there. So gonna go around the inside on the grass. If I don't get him, hopefully we'll get him next lap. We are faster than him or her. No sexism here. I am a feminist lover, I love feminists, obviously, hence why I'm a feminist lover. Yes, as you can tell, I'm pretty rubbish at this commentating business, but I'll get better. And I've got more interesting things to talk about when I'm not revising constantly and I do some exciting things with my life. <laughs> this corner always screws me up, I'm not braking hard enough. And this one here. Another thing about this game is the fact that on some courses, like this one, it's really easy to cheat. But I'm sure it would have been pretty simple to put a block in the chicane, but that was just too much, obviously. So we do win by a decent amount, so I'm probably going to Increase the weight of this car like I did last episode, but with a different car, obviously. And since it is a bit fast, a bit faster than the other cars. Alright, so I've added an extra 100 kilos, so it should be a fairer race, although my car is still a, a bit faster, as so I can tell by, by the A-spec points. Now, I think they could have done something with the A-spec points in this game, because it's... I really don't see the point in them, apart from a gauge of how overpowered your car is compared to the others. I think that you should get, like, I don't know what you get, like, 
prize money or something like that. Cash. If you reach a certain amount of A-spec points. Because it... Because for some there's probably no incentive. Just get get the F1 car. Or a Le Mans car. Do these races. Go on to B-spec. Win all the monies. And win the game. But I'm, I don't I don't really enjoy B-spec. It's kind of boring. The A-spec... No, not A-spec driver. I'm not rubbish. The B-spec dri driver is pretty bad. It's, it won't really win against equal competition you're gonna have to bump it up a lot in order to overtake stuff because it is so poor but in this little let's play well it's not gonna be little this is gonna go on for a very long time since this game is so big but yeah I'm hoping to get zero B spec points I may get some if I'm grinding for cash for a video and I just don't have the time but I highly doubt I'll do that anyway. So fast the chicane there. Down to 260 miles an hour. Coming up to the hairpin now. Oh. Oh. That was awful. <laughs> but we do have enough power. For the loss. Not to be irrelevant. It's a bit of an ugly car this. I'm not going to lie. But luckily for me, I don't play in that camera, as you can tell. I like playing this one or the, or the just clear one like this. I don't like playing in the back, whatever camera view that's called, like third person or something probably. Because you don't get a sense of where the corner is. Although I don't mind it in some games. Most of the games, I just don't like like simulation games. I am thinking of actually getting the wheel for this game so I'm a better driver and you don't really hear me twiddling <laughs> these analog sticks so much because I'm sure it does get annoying after a while Ooh, nearly went wide there I think there's no need to shift to one I did get knee for speed rivals if I could do a let's play on that button. I'm pretty much done it. I'm not rank. Well, I haven't done it yet. But I've, uh, it's not from the beginning, so it wouldn't really be a let's play. And I get launched into the air there by that curb. So, right, let's try this hairpin again, shall we? Not breaking hard enough again. She sneaks up on you. <laughs> So here we go, across the finish line in first place in a minute. Yeah, there we go. A really ugly car, this. Another thing, there's like downforce in this game. I take it you know what downforce is. But for some reason, I can't change it on this car, even though it's got a wing. I don't know why. I know that wings are static and all that, but still. I was hoping that I could do more things, decrease it so I get, I'm a little bit faster top speed, I'm a little bit faster top speed, doesn't make sense but you know, a higher top speed and I don't corner as well, because that made, made it more interesting so we do win and that, no I'm not going to ruin the surprise yeah, next race alright, so this is my second time doing this yes, I did lose a 13 point race I was too busy talking about really interesting things <laughs> So what I was saying is that I've never been to New York before but I have been to London which I would say is the same thing, just bustling although, although New York isn't the capital, it's a major city in the US of A, the mighty US of A but, Oh, there we go, we do take one Should have downshifted to two there Gonna have to be cheeky and cut along there Another great thing about this game, there's no penalties at all unless you're doing licenses or driving missions in special conditions but other than that you're fine. So I've never been to New York before but I've been to London and I hate London. It's just a disgusting place. Uh, it's not disgusting. But the things that I see there are just awful. <laughs> like, what's it called? Like, 
I think they're called buskers, like they're music people who sing for money and then wonder why they're homeless and just have a guitar as their personal property and maybe a hat falls or one piece to go in if they're lucky yeah there's a lot of them at like one time when I went there I saw this dude it was like a wire frame I think he was standing on well this was before he set it all up it was supposed to be a magic trick or something well he was standing on this right wire frame put on this cloak pretended to be Yoda and he was like hovering off the ground because he was standing on this wire frame I oh, know it's just I just don't understand people like that and there's just so many people in London as well. Don't overstay, please. Oh dear, I might have lost the position there. Yeah. Oh no, but we regain it. Where's he gone? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, let's see, this is what I'm about with the AI. They're just brutal. They just shove you out of the way. Yeah, there's just so many people in London, it's really crowded. The traffic system is awful. No idea why I break there. I just I'm just not a people person. That was a nice turn. I think I got him here though. Come on. Yes, yes we do. Provided that I don't screw this bit up. No. Nope. Maintains the inside line. Lovely. Don't really want to be hitting the rev limiter there. I'm just not a people person. Obviously, I do YouTube because it's a nice break. It's something different. It's more fun than sitting alone whining about Call of Duty and other games and how terrible I am. And I get to, you know, I'm not saying I make you happy, but I, I don't know, just help other people I suppose, I don't want to sound big headed when I say that I'm sure you don't really go home anticipating a brand new video from me but I just like enjoying not enjoying people <laughs> making people happy if I can although most of these videos I'm really quiet because I don't really want the people in my home listening to me. Although they do listen to my video for some odd reason. I'm sure they got better things to be doing. I don't know. I'm obviously a great YouTuber. I just do YouTube for fun, like I said. And as a break from revision and stuff like that. Although, at my 10 weeks off, I'd near my exams are getting close and soon there will be daily videos <laughs> but it's just not practical with exam, revision, exam, revision that's going to come up very very soon I've been mass recording these Gran Turismo videos which is why sometimes I do lose my voice like I have now <clears throat> but sometimes I just forget to upload it I process it all, edit it all but just uploading takes too long, too long and I just can't be bothered some nights I'm just too tired done all my revision but for some reason I've got really greasy hair and I don't like it not really something you want to be talking about in a video but oh well right, so here we are at the 90s Fuji Speedway it's a 9 point race so I'm feeling pretty confident tell me if you want a face cam uh, I'm sure you're not that bothered about seeing my little face in the corner of a video or I might just leave it and then mark it my face reveal like other YouTubers like Lispy Jimmy and <laughs> Voice Crack <laughs> Lispy Jimmy and people like that because you know the more money the better that's all I'm, con that's all I'm concerned about as I stated before I'm only in YouTube for the money I I I'm thinking about getting some bots as well to increase my subscriber account because people aren't subscribing to me because I don't know why I'm a great YouTuber my videos have about 7 billion views but for some reason I'm stuck at like one subscriber a week or something by the way I am joking I'm not complaining please please don't unsubscribe <laughs> no but seriously tell me if you want a face cam it depends on what my mummy and daddy say because they're 
really tight about internet security and they're probably watching this video right now and when I get home from school tomorrow they're going to be moaning at me but that don't matter I can deal with that can't I mum <laughs> no YouTube isn't a communication between me and my parents <laughs> but yes as I was saying bots I was thinking of getting some bots you know it's not breaking the law as I see it I see it, it's just it's like funding a return investment that's what I see. What's it like? Twenty pounds a month for three bots a day? I mean, in a couple of years, I'll grow. My content won't change because I'm arrogant and stuff like that, and I'm just doing it for the money. And I'll spend about five minutes making the video. But once I get to a certain point, I can cancel the bots because I'll be rich and famous and have enough money for a Lamborghini tractor. Come on, Mr. Lotus, you're pretty slow. Pretty slow today. Although Lotus is up, run out. <sighs> Sorry, random yawn there. Spontaneous yawning. I can't believe I contracted that disease a couple of days ago. My friend's got spontaneous clapping, unfortunately. I was thinking of getting a, a little, well it's not little, it's a game for the PS2 but it's made by, in, well it's made in by Polyphony and in the same style as Gran Turismo 4 but it's bicycles, no not bicycles, <laughs> motorbikes, I'm sure bicycle racing would be pretty dull I'm sure, I mean TV bicycle racing is boring no, no disrespect for them bicycle lovers out there But I'm sure most of them are on drugs. Not really. I highly respect who's I can't think of any cyclists apart from Lance Armstrong. Bradley Wiggins, I think, is a cyclist. And I go on the grass again because I'm too busy making funny points that are really funny instead of driving. But we are at least three seconds ahead. Oh look at that. Spot on, nearly spot on there. bit of oversteer there. Not that you could really tell. But I could tell because I'm the driver. You're just the puny spectator drooling in awe at my driving skill. But we do cross the line in our lime green lotus earning ourselves a grand nine points. Beating all the lotuses, the voxels, the Renault and the other lotus. Although I just saw the to the next race, right now then, final race, we're at Al Capitan, it is a wholesome 10 points, and I am, as always, in my lime green lotus, sorry for that spasm <laughs> then, no idea what happened, but there we go, automatically shoved onto the left hand side, but we do take the lead, I forgot there was a corner there, And a bit of oversteer again from this nice Lotus. It's pretty good. I like it. A pretty, I would say standard, but it's a nice car. Doesn't oversteer too much. Doesn't understeer too much. Good handling. Nimble, obviously, if it's got good handling. Some nice acceleration. A decent top speed of around, I think it's like 150 or something. So uh, I think this will be a car that I use in endurance races, maybe such as the Al Capitan 200 miles. Now, I'm not good at Al Capitan, as you can see right here. This is a pretty difficult circuit. If you ever played Gran Turismo before, you would know what this circuit's like. Do take that hairpin nicely, I would say. This corner here always screws me up. Bit slow, but I'd rather play it slow than play it into a barrier. Because barriers aren't my friends in this game. As in real life. Not that I've ever hit a barrier in real life. 
Uh, I'm sure I've walked into plenty before. That's because I'm just retarded. I'm not driving a car because I've never driven a car on a road before. I have driven it in private land as part of a like driving taste the lesson thing up in I don't know where it is like up from where I am. Not that I ever told you where I live. I'm not going to tell you yet because it's not important. <laughs> but um. What was I saying? Yeah, I do driving lessons with John, my man, who did have a Vauxhall Astra with an automatic handbrake, and I like that because launching was a lot easier than it is in this new car, which is a BMW one, one or two series, I think. It's pretty quick. You see, it's not a M2 or a 1M or whatever. So the M1 is called in BMW terms. But it's, it's quick. I went around, I think I've done a hundred in it before on this long straight. It is manual. Obviously I don't like automatic cars. Even in games, well games I never like to drive automatic because it's basically playing on easy mode. And the same with driving cars in real life although I'm sure you there isn't a difficulty of cars on driving on road. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Unless you don't know what I mean. You probably don't because I'm terrible at explaining things. But if you do, I give you my thanks. Only one though. I've got to save them all for uh, my boy John the Jihadist. Great dude, great dude. Not really, please. I'm not a terrorist. Please don't report me to the CIA or whatever the English version of that is called. MI5 or 6 because I'm not, I don't like terrorists. They're naughty people. They are bad men. They should be spanked for their actions. Luckily, I haven't been affected by one. None of my family members have been killed by your boy ISIS or the IRA or things like that but you do have to learn about them in RE the RA more so because we do Christianity and Hinduism and the IRA comes up for like it's got like war questions no not war but conflicts and stuff like that and forgiveness because this one dude uh, George Will Wilson or Wilkinson I think I should know his name if I'm taking the GCSE he forgives his, he forgives the IRA for killing her daughter, his daughter, sorry. No, I just don't see the point in terrorist groups. I don't see the point in a lot of things, like, I don't know, I see the point in communism. I don't understand that. Hasn't worked in Cuba, hasn't worked in Russia. Isn't really working in North Korea, not gonna lie. Don't think King Jimin is doing that good. But he's, he's trying, so hats off to him. And our prize car for doing all this MR challenge nonsense is a Lotus Esprit Turbo HC 1987, which is pretty cool. Nice black colour. Although you can't change car colour in this game for some reason. I think you can in GT4. No, not GT4, because that's what I'm playing. GT3. You definitely can in the later models. I have applied for the GT Sport beta so hopefully I'll get an email soon saying it and I can do some videos on that because GT Sport is the way forward ladies and gentlemen so if you enjoyed this video please like it more likes equals more money even though I don't have adverts if you like me as a person then please do subscribe because I'm on the way to 50 and it would really mean the world and, uh, I've got nothing more to say so Good boy.